Thank you for tuning in to the latest edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. Whether you're listening during your commute, while working out, or just relaxing at home, we appreciate you. Every download, every listen, and every subscription means a lot. Up next, the 12 Kyle podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading. And thank you for subscribing to the latest edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. I am your boy, 12 Kyle. Man, check this out. (laughs) On this episode, I want to go back to a question that was asked many years ago. Um, I was asked the question on another platform, if you could trade your life with a celebrity for a month, who would you pick and why? And I'd like to revisit that. Again, it was on a different platform. It was actually my old, old radio show called the 12 radio show. Someone called in and asked that. And I thought it was a great question. So who would I trade my life with for a month that's a celebrity? So what I decided to do was kind of flip it a little bit. uh, And I wrote down a couple of names and I wanted to kind of ponder the idea of trading places with them. Um, And these are in no particular order. I did some women and some men. Um, Not that I would ever, you know, want to be a woman because I enjoy being a man, but for this discussion, you know, we will, we'll, We'll roll with it, okay? Um, first up, and, he, and again, these are in no particular order. Uh, Megan Markle. Markle, excuse me. Um, would I trade places with Megan Markle for a month? Let's see. She's married to, what's the guy's name? Harry? Is that is it Harry or William? Harry, okay. Um, I think that's him. <laughs> the guy that looks like, uh, he looks like, um, oh man, I can't remember the guy's name. Anyway, he looks like him. Former quarterback for the Eagles. Um, yeah, no, no, she's a princess, right? Um, and they left England to come to the United States to do what? And she's got, she's got a couple kids, she, kids. I think she's got some kids. Or a kid. No, Megan Markle Markle doesn't really strike me as um, somebody I would want to be. I think she's an actress, too, if I'm correct. Um, As you can tell, I don't really know that much about her, but I think she's probably lived a pretty cool life. And she probably, you know, has a cool life that she has now, even though she's no longer in England um, under the royal family. Would I want to be her for a month? No. Um, the whole royal family thing, I never got into that stuff. I don't really know that much about those people. The stuff that they do there seems kind of weird to me. Um, you know, to each his own. But um, if you're familiar with the royal family history, if you know, you know. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. So Meghan Markle, no. Um, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Would I trade places with Jennifer Lopez for a month? No. Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, um, while she is a talented actress, um, not really much of a singer. <laughs> uh, I mean, and you know, it's funny. because people that love her music. I don't know why, but that's another story for another day. Um, and then, you know, this thing with her and Ben Affleck, I mean, they're off again, on again, off again, on again type deal that they have. So there's a lot of instability in her life. She once dated Puff Daddy, enough said, (laughs) um, and she used to be a fly girl. That all being said, no, I wouldn't want to be, um, JLo, nah. I couldn't do it. Um, Next up, Kim Kardashian. Now, Kim Kardashian's got a lot of money. Kardashians are paid 
you know, she's a reality TV star. She's got what a product beauty product line, I think. Um, a lot of money, you know. She, she made a sex tape, and her money came with that. Um, shout out to Ray J. <laughs> uh, would I want to be Kim Kardashian? Oh yeah, she was. She's been married a couple of times. Um, here most recently to Kanye West. So would I want to be Kim Kardashian? No. Uh, there seems to be some instability there um she might have commitment issues um and i i'll be one of the few people i'll be honest i'm not really like i've seen guys fawn over her like she don't move me like that you know she got a decent looking face but her body's been so worked on that it ain't even her body seen more work than i-95 <laughs> sorry not sorry but I mean, she seems nice, like a nice lady, I guess. You know, she did a little prison reform joint. Um, nah, I'm not trying to be Kim K. Um, Swift Taylor. Swift Taylor, one of the biggest stars, excuse me, music artists in the world. Would I want to be Swift Taylor? Swift Taylor at the time of this recording is currently dating Travis Kelsey from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL. <sighs> nah, I wouldn't want to be Swift Taylor. Swift Taylor seems not to have a lot of like, I don't want to use the word swag, but swag is like the best word I can come up with right now. She don't seem to have a lot of swag. She seems to be pretty, you know, straight up and down, six o'clock. Like she don't look like the type to kind of hang out, have fun and kick and let her hair down. I could be wrong. I mean, I, I really don't know that much about Swift Taylor. I know a, a couple of her songs, but I do know she's popular and her fans are called the Swifties. But yeah, I don't think I want to be Swift Taylor. Um, who else? Rihanna. Rihanna, the bad girl. Um, let's see. Rihanna's got a couple of kids. She's a singer. And I don't think she's put out an album in like 10 years. <laughs> um, and she's like a billionaire from this, you know, product line. It's perfect. Not a perfume. What is it? She, what's she pushing? Pop, pocketbooks? She's pushing something. Beauty products. I'm sorry. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Reggie. Appreciate it. Shout out to super producer Reggie for the commentary in the background. Um, nah. I wouldn't want to be Rihanna. I think Rihanna's dope, though. I think she's really, really dope. But, nah. Is she, you know, baby daddy is, uh, you know, what's the guy's name? Um, ASAP Rocky. Never really got into ASAP's music like that, but, um, nah. I wouldn't want to be tied up, to, tied up with him. Um, let's see, who else? Oh, the obvious. Beyonce Knowles. Um, excuse me, Beyonce Carter. Would I want to be Beyonce for a month? Let's see. She's pretty popular. She's a singer. She's married to Jay-Z. Um, successful businesswoman, entrepreneur. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'd, I'd actually be Beyonce for a month. Now, the whole married to Jay-Z thing, I don't know. Because I don't think I would want to be married to Jay-Z, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> but um, if I were a woman, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know if women find Jay-Z like that, you know. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, But the flip side of it is, like, you're Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like, so that says something and means something. Um. So could I trade places with Beyonce for a month? Yes, I could. Uh, and she's a mother. You know, she's got, what, three kids? Uh, and what's interesting about her kids, like, of course, I've seen Blue Ivy before. That's her oldest child that she and Jay-Z have. But, like, her twins, I've never seen those little kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I know their names, but, like, I don't know that those kids actually exist. <laughs> um, okay, that's enough of the women. Um, Let's take a commercial break. On the other side, I'll give you some men that I wrote down who 
We'll see if I would trade places with them. Sit tight. This is 12 Kyle, the 12 Kyle podcast. We'll be back in just a second. Are you feeling nostalgic for the golden eras of rap and soul music? If so, tune in to the Rap Soul Podcast. We are your weekly journey through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, spotlighting the music and the hidden gems that shaped the soundtrack of our lives. From the powerful beats to the soulful melodies, we bring you the best of the past with fresh insights and stories. Rediscover the music that defined a generation. Subscribe to the Rap Soul Podcast and enjoy the vibes. And just like that, we are back. Once again, it's your boy, 12 Kyle. This is the 12 Kyle Podcast. We're talking about trading places with a celebrity for a month. Um, Before the break, I gave you, I want to say five. Yeah, I gave you five uh, people that I would not trade places, would or would not trade places with. And they were all women. Um, So now let's go to some men. Um, let's see how many men we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six women. Okay, so I gave you six women. Sorry. Um, so seven men. Um, okay. And these are no particular order. Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Super duper all star. Uh, NBA champion. One of the greatest three-point shooters to ever, probably greatest three-point shooter to ever play. Uh, one of the pioneers, um, one of the most influential players in basketball history. Would I trade places with Steph Curry? Yes. Dedicated family man. He's got a beautiful wife. Uh, they've got, what, four kids? I think three girls, and they just had a son, I think. No, they might have, no, I think it's two boys and two girls. Yeah, two boys and two girls. So they've completed the set. So shout out to, um, Steph and Aisha, college sweethearts, you know, that kind of, you know, resonates with me because I married my college sweetheart. Um, and oh, Steph seems like an all around great guy. Steph, Steph Curry seems like the kind of guy you want to hang out with. And I'm definitely the kind of guy you want to hang out with. So, yeah, I'd be Steph Curry for a month. I, I could do that. Um, Jay-Z. What I want to be Jay-Z for a month so if I'm Jay-Z for a month, I'm doing this NFL thing with the half times and all of that good stuff. I'm making whack music, <laughs> or at least whack by my standards. Um, I'm beefing with Dame Dash. Uh, I'm still hanging out with Memphis Bleak, I guess, you know, because Ble- Memphis Bleak is still one hit away. Uh, and I'm a father and husband, and I'm married to Beyonce. Yeah, I think I'd be Jay-Z for a month. I mean, if for nothing else, I'm, I'm with Beyonce. Um, Jay-Z, I think, is, you know, one of the best MCs to ever grab a microphone. Um, so I would want to be Jay-Z for a month just so I could step in the booth and, 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 and rap. And I feel like my ability to rap, when you put that into Jay-Z's body, is going to give you some bangers. So, and you guys have never heard me rap before. <laughs> so and you won't <laughs> but um in jay-z's body i could pull it off right so yeah I, I i definitely would be jay-z um for a month uh next up kanye west uh super talented uh formerly married to kim kardashian uh he's got these you know apparel lines and all this stuff like that hell no <laughs> for as talented as I think Kanye West is, Kanye West is an idiot. And I say that as someone who used to be a fan of his music. Um, no, nah, I'm not being Kanye for a month. Hell, I don't even know if I want to be Kanye for a day. Hell no. Kanye just ain't right, man. And I know, you know, I, I ain't even going to talk about his mother, man, because that's a sad situation. I don't know necessarily that he ever healed from that. And I, to be honest, I don't know how you heal from that. But he just ain't been the same. And, you know, I think there are people around Kanye who really haven't helped him be better. So, but he's got to want to be better before he can be better. But that's another story for another day. Um, Let's see, who else? Patrick Mahomes. 
uh, Super Bowl champion quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, father, husband, great athlete, uh, son of a baseball player. No, I wouldn't want to be Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes seems kind of seems kind of goofy, kind of quirky, and I'm not goofy or quirky. I have my quirks, but I ain't quirky. And I have my moments where I could kind of goof off a little bit, but I ain't goofy. Mahomes don't really seem to me like it's not, it's, and it's not that he's not a bad guy. He just don't seem like the type of guy. He don't seem like a lot of fun. And, and I, I, I will say this. For those of you listening and watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. You know a little bit about me, right? I think, I, I think I'm not going out on a limb if I tell you that I'm a lot of fun. <laughs> I think you know that about me. You might not know a whole lot about me, but if you've heard this podcast for more than five minutes, you know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fun, right? And that ain't a front, and that ain't me bragging. That's me facting. <laughs> But no, Pat Mahomes don't seem like fun at all. So no, nah, I'm not being Pat Mahomes. Um, Aubrey Drake Graham. Let's see. Um, talented artist, rapper. He can sing a little bit. Uh, very popular with the ladies. Um, he's a father. I don't know how good of a father he is, but he's a father. <laughs> he lets some people tell you he's a deadbeat dad. <laughs> um, but no, no, nah, I wouldn't want to be Drake. Nah, nah. There's nothing about Drake that appeals to me to be like, yo, I want to be like him <laughs> or want to be down. And being Drake for a month, hell no. You know, even, and I don't know Drake personally, but just some of the stuff that's been alleged about who he is and how he gets down. I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand on that. I couldn't. I, I'm way too solid to stand on slippery slopes like that. So no, I'm not being Drake. Um, next up, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, uh, one of the best rappers in the game. Uh, father. Um, entrepreneur, uh, humanitarian. Uh, Mover of the culture. Yes, I would be definitely Kendrick Lamar for a month. Um, if for no other reason, just to perform not like us. <laughs> I, I would like perform not like us, like wherever I went. I would I go to McDonald's and perform not like us in the parking lot. <laughs> just on just because. Just because I can. Um, but shout out to K Dot. Um seriously though, I, I I'd be Kendrick Lamar for real. Um, Compton's own Kendrick Lamar. I definitely would be uh, Kendrick Lamar for for a month. Um, let's see who else we got here. Um, LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players ever. The probably the best of his generation. Um, father, husband, you know, married his high school sweetheart. Um, businessman, entrepreneur. Yeah, I definitely would be LeBron for a day. Not excuse me, I'd be LeBron for a month for sure. Um, LeBron's getting up there in age, but his game hasn't fallen off. I mean, he's still balling out of control. And when he retires, he may be statistically one of the. He may have every statistical, every major statistical record in the NBA. I think he's the second best player that I've ever seen behind the goat <laughs> but um yeah man i definitely would be love and that's the thing man i when i talk about michael jordan and lebron and i'm not gonna make this a jordan lebron thing but i think lebron jordan doesn't strike me as the kind of guy you want to hang out with lebron definitely strikes me as the kind of guy you want to hang out hang out with LeBron seems cool as hell, man. He seems like he gets it and he gets people and he's caring. And he's a lot of other things that I think you want people to be. So yeah, I, I'd definitely be LeBron for a month. Um, yeah, LeBron, Curry, Kendrick Lamar, 
I, I'd definitely be them for a month. Um, and you know, it's just based on the perception of what we think we know. Cause as I always tell you guys, we don't know these people. <laughs> we don't, we know what we see on TV. We know what we hear, but we don't know them. We don't know how they get down. But, um, I wanted to just revisit that question because it, I was looking through some, some old emails and that one popped up and I was like, you know what? That'd be great to bring to my platform now on the uh, 12 Kyle podcast, uh, an oldie, but a goodie. But, um, honestly, I think I live a pretty cool life. Uh, there's not too many people I would want to trade places with. I, I named a few, but ultimately I love the life that I live. And while they may have the fortune and the fame and everything else, you know, I have my health. I have, you know, a couple of pennies in my pocket, a couple of quarters in the bank. So I'm doing okay. But um, that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out this edition of the 12 Kyle podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast if you haven't done so already. We're on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit all the buttons. <laughs> Um, and we also have, uh, not just the video, but audio on YouTube as well. If you're on social media, follow us at 12 Kyle at 12 Kyle podcast across the board, Twitter X, Facebook, Instagram threads, you name it. We're there. Um, if you'd like to contribute to the show financially, a couple of ways you can do that. You can hit us up on cash out dollar sign T W E L V E K Y L E. Also. Also, also, if you look in the description box, there's a link that says merch. Click that link. You can buy 12 Kyle podcast t-shirts, hoodies, posters, as well as coffee mugs like the one that I'm holding right here. <laughs> um, also, we have a new one. We have a new one. We have a new baby. Not literally, but figuratively, we have a new baby. It's called the Rap Soul Podcast. The Rap Soul Podcast is the intersection of soul and R&B music and hip-hop and rap music from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. If you haven't done so already, go over there and subscribe right now on all the platforms. And more importantly, listen and share the show with someone like yourself who loves music as much as you do. Uh, again, that's going to do it for me. I am your boy, 12 Kyle. I'll catch you guys next time. Five G's. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the 12 Kyle podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and share this podcast with a friend who needs the 12 Kyle podcast in their life. Every listen, every download, and every share helps us grow. Thanks for being a part of the 12 Kyle podcast community. We appreciate your support. We will catch you next time. 5,000.